Hi there you guys, today I'm going to show you in easy steps how to make these beaded fishes earrings. You know I was told in school that I'm not a creative person at all and if I can do this, so I'm sure that everybody could. Support me by liking, sharing and commenting. This is a great help for me. Also you might want to become a member that comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. So without further delay let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are five colors of 11 on seed beads only two in black which are for the eyes of my fish yellow orange red and turquoise. I'm using earring finding sliver bags you could use others of your choice. This is nylon nylon trend that is 0.03 millimeters or size D you could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 11 beading needle, you could use size 12. I'm using here scissors and flat nose pliers. When I need to go through the difficult beads sometimes I use them. Okay and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I start my work with two red beads. I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I make it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and pulling and I want to do one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay. And now these beads are next to each other with the sides touching and pointing in one direction. Okay. I have this. In my next step I'm taking two yellow beads and you see I have here thread bridge between my these two beads, the black thread bridge. And what I want to do is go under this thread bridge with the two beads that I have on my needle and I'm going to pull. And then I will go through the bead which is closer to the center of my work between the two red beads, okay? And I'm going to pull again. Then I will take one more yellow bead and I will go again under the same thread bridge. Only the beginning is that strange and difficult, then it gets easier, guys, okay? Now, now I have this and again I'm going through the bead, through the same bead. In this way I'm attaching those beads to the thread bridge that I have between my first two beads. This is called break stitch for those of you that are, that are not familiar with it. In my next step guys I need two yellow beads and you see these thread bridges that I have. I have two thread bridges and I go under the first one now. Okay like this and pull and then go through the bead which is closer to the center of those two that I'm adding. and I pull. Then it comes the step where I add the eye of my fish. I'm going under the next thread bridge and I want to go through this bead in this direction. And when I pull here I added the eye. For those of you that are familiar with the brick stitch it would be easy, for the others I'm explaining it step by step. Okay, I'm going under the, the same thread bridge because I don't have any more thread bridges but I want one more bead added. And I'm going backwards through it just like this. Okay, so what I do here is that 
I do increasing brick stitch, I add more beads in each row. The first one is with two, then three. Now this is with four beads. So the next one will be with five beads. And when I make brick stitch and I increase, I always take two beads and go under the first thread bridge. I will show you what I do when I decrease, but now I'm increasing. That is why I'm going under the first thread bridge. Because in this row I will have more beads than the previous one. It is increasing and I'm going under the first thread bridge. And each row I start with two beads always and then continue one by one. Okay, so here I have two. The next step is with one. And always turn your work the way it's easier for you to go through the beads. And then this is my last thread bridge where I add the fourth bead. But what I said is that I need five beads in this row because it is increasing. So I'm out of thread bridges and I will use the last thread bridge that I have here to add one more bead. Okay, this one. By the way, another piece of advice. If you use Nymo nylon thread, always pre-stretch it. It will get less tangles. But if you use monofilament, never stretch it because it will get curly. It and it will become impossible to work. Okay, now I take two yellow beads. Now I'll make a row with six yellows. Okay, I take two yellows. I go under the first thread bridge because I will be increasing. Then go through the bead which is closer to the center and I will continue one by one until I have six. Okay, my friends, and in my next row I will have seven beads, but this time I will add some color, okay? Now I take a yellow and a red. I go under the first thread bridge. I pull. And I go here, like that. Then I need orange. And then four yellows. And again, the last yellow is under the same thread bridge. Okay, now a row with eight beads. Okay, five yellows. Orange. 
red and yellow again. Now I take yellow and thread again. This time I will go under the second thread bridge. Okay, because I want this bead to go a little bit to the inner side. I go through the red here. And after that I reinforce. Okay, you see it's a little bit zigzaggy here and I need an orange. Now I'm going through the third bridge, thread bridge counting from the edge because I've been through the second in my previous step. Okay. And now one by one I'm going to add five more yellow beads. Okay, my friends, then I'm going to take two yellow beads and I will go under the second thread bridge because I want them to go a little bit to the inner side again. Okay. If I go through the first thread bridge, they will be sticking out a little bit, but I want them to be to the inner side. That's why I'm going through the second thread bridge. And remember always when you go through the thread, through the second thread bridge, always reinforce. Okay, I added five yellow beads in total. Now I need one orange. One red. And here I need one more yellow at the last thread bridge. At these steps, guys, again, I'm taking yellow and red and I'm going under the second thread bridge. Remember, when I go under the second thread bridge, I reinforce. Okay, my friends, and now I will add turquoise and yellow at this first step and I will go under this first thread bridge that I have here. And I'm going through the yellow bead, which is closer to the center of my work. Okay. Then I need to add an orange bit.
and 5 yellows. And the last fifth yellow beads, guys, I'm adding here. And I need one turquoise. Okay, guys, and what I need now are two turquoise beads. Now I'm exiting out of the second bead here, but don't worry. I will go again through the first thread bridge that we have. And again, I'm going through the bead which is closer to the center. And now I prefer to make an additional reinforcement of those beads. because they are sticking out a little bit. Okay, and now I need to add four yellows one by one. Okay, I'm going here through the second thread bridge. orange and red. Then yellow. Turquoise. And one more turquoise at the same thread bridge here, guys. Now I start with two turquoise and I go under the first thread bridge. Another turquoise. yellow red Another orange. And now add three yellows and three turquoise.
Okay, and the last turquoise I added at the same thread bridge, like I did many times before. So when you're out of thread bridges and to, you need to add one more bit, just add it at the same thread bridge. And this is how it looks. I take two turquoise and I go under the first thread bridge. Then I go like this. Now guys, what I want to do is to finish here this part. That is why I will go back for a while. Okay, I will zigzag through my beads like this, like I'm showing you. Okay. Now I need two beads and I go under the second thread bridge counting from here and I will reinforce this part. I will go through this bead as well because in this case the beads don't stay flat and I want to make additional thread pad so they stay flat. I could even go one more time if I need to. Okay, and now I will add one more bead here. And here at this point, guys, I want to add just one bead. I drop it like this. I don't go through it. I pull it to this side and I just attach it here. Okay. Then what I want to do is to go through the neighbor bead. Okay, like that. Then through the neighbor one in the other direction and through this next. And then exit out of this bead here. Okay. Now I'm coming back guys to finish this row and what I need are two yellows first and then orange and red. Now I will add four turquoise beads here. Okay, and here I need three beads. 
taking two going through the first thread bridge reinforcing And now I like at the other side, I will add only one bead here. Okay. Just dropping it, then skipping it and going directly through these beads. Maybe here I need additional reinforcement. What I want to do is to zigzag through the beads. And I'm exiting out of the red bead. Okay, and I need yellow and red. And I go here under the next thread bridge. And I will do a reinforcement here. Then orange and two yellows. Then yellow and orange and go under the second thread bridge. Go through the orange and reinforce. And yellow. Now in this row I will add only three yellow beads. I take two yellows, go under the second thread bridge. Then reinforce. and one yellow. Then I'm starting with turquoise, take two turquoise, go under the first thread bridge because I will be, be increasing in this row and when I increase I go under the first thread bridge, not under the second one. Then I'm going to add 
5 turquoise in this row. First I add 2 and I go under the, second, the first thread bridge. I feel like reinforcing. Another row with six this time. Okay, then I take two and I go under the second thread bridge. And reinforce. And add one more bead. Now again take two and again go under the second thread bridge. And again reinforce. And one bead. Now two and go under the second thread bridge here. Reinforce. And one. Now I'm going through some beads in this direction and I want to go here at this bead. Okay, take two beads and go under the next thread bridge. Go like this. Then Reinforce and add one here. Two beads go under the first thread bridge and through the one that is closer to the center and add one more bead here. Two turquoise and go under the second thread bridge.
and train force and here guys add just one more beat and after that I will go through as many beats as I can in this direction and I want to exit here where I'm going to add my earring finding okay and in order to do this I'm going through all of those beats in this direction and I want to exit through this first turquoise and I'm taking one turquoise my earring finding and two yellow beads and what I want to do is to go through this yellow okay and now I have this attached here after that my friends I want to reinforce that is why I'm coming back here like this like this like this and through all of those one more time I'm pulling tight and after that I will make a knot and cut both my tail threads okay Okay, after I make the knot, I go through some beads in this direction and I cut this tail thread and also this tail thread. Okay? Okay, guys, and now my beaded fishes earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. Also hit the bell button and in this way you will support me so much. You might also like, share and comment and become a member which comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.